to pay for it. I can take you higher than you ever been. Don't be scared, I got you good. To... Hi, this is my first YouTube video. It's gonna be on the Christian Louboutin So Kate. Um, I got the shoes about a month ago, and um, I got it from Yorkdale, which is kind of equivalent to like Saks and, and um, Neiman and Marcus, I believe. Um, but when I did purchase it, um, it came with a bag, of course. Uh, it's a pretty sturdy bag, if you feel it. Um, and of course, the box. And um, in the box, you obviously get the... Oopsie the dust bag it's one dust bag you get sometimes you'll get two but um, I guess with these shoes you only get the one dust bag and also the heel taps the spare heel taps I personally don't keep my shoes in the dust bag I kind of like to display it as you can kind of see behind me so these are the shoes I love them they're super high um, to be honest with you, I've been wanting these shoes for some time. I actually wanted the Pagals 121st, but um, I mean, they're kind of sold out everywhere if you've been trying to get a hold of them. Same with the Socates. Uh, I, I believe when I went to the store and asked them about it, they said there was um, almost an eight page waiting list for them. So it was almost like a first come, first serve. So I've been calling the store for it almost every month and they keep telling me next month, next month. So finally, um, they came in. I was really debating between the black and the nude, but I figure um, I went with the nude instead because it was summer and um, spring and uh, figure it'd be nice to kind of wear with the nice summer dress. So when it comes to sizing on these shoes, I would say it's actually really quite confusing. I wasn't sure what size to get with them. I was actually afraid to order online. That's why I kind of waited to um, for the stores to get them in because I was afraid about sizes. Some people say they were true to size. Some people were saying to go half size up, half size down, or even a full size up or down. Um, most of my Christian Louboutins, I've gone eight and a half, but. Um, with these ones, I actually went with the the 8. And I'm actually really happy that I went with the 8. But to be honest with you, I was really confused. When I first got them, I was putting them on at home, trying them on constantly every, probably every day, and debating if I had gotten the right size or not, because my toes were so squished when I put them on, just because of the, the toe box area. I mean, it's it's fairly narrow. Um, now, I don't think my feet are skinny or, or fat. I, I would consider my feet to be pretty average. So putting them on, I was so hesitant about even going back to exchange it for an eight and a half or even a size nine. So I was happy that I stuck with the eight after a while because I decided to, you know, try to stretch it out somehow. The only thing that really worked for me was to lotion my feet and then slip it in. And as soon as I did, it just worked perfectly. Um, so that's what I've been doing so far to stretch them out, putting lotion on. Um, even sometimes I wear th some thick layers of socks just to kind of stretch it a little bit. But I actually prefer to do the lotion just because I don't want to stretch it, overstretch it either. So I've worn it to dinner once. Um, pretty much in the car and to the restaurant. For now, they're considered my valet shoes because I can't see myself walking them too long. Um, when I first gotten them and I tried them on the store, I was like, oh, they're not too bad. It's, you know, like I thought it was okay. I, I figure, um, I mean, if I can handle walking in my lady peeps for like a wedding and whatnot, it was pretty comfortable, I would say. So then I figure I can handle these shoes, but um, after a while I started walking in my room, I was like, oh my God, these are actually a lot higher. Um, even walking from the car towards the restaurant, I felt like I was kind of walking like really awkwardly. So I guess it's just going to get some getting used to. But uh, back to sizing, I'm, I'm really happy with the eights because there's also no heel gap for me. Um, I know with a lot of these shoes, some people get them and because of the, the, the steepness of it, um, your feet do slip uh, quite significantly, I would think. And um, with the eight, um, I don't have a heel gap at all. So I know, at least I know once it does stretch out 
to, you know, to fit me perfectly. I won't have to worry about walking with the heel gap or um, anyone that knows when you wear shoes that are probably bigger than your feet, you've got to kind of cringe your, your toes a bit and it's not the most comfortable. Um, so that's why I would suggest trying these on. I wouldn't suggest probably ordering them um, if you don't know your size. That's why I didn't. So from a level of uh, 1 to 10, uh, I would rate the shoes about a 4, um, being not as comfortable as my Lady Peeps. The shoes are just so sexy. Um, I mean, it's irresistible. I've, I know everyone's wanted it. I've wanted it since I've laid eyes on it. So um, I think I'll, I'll bear with my feet hurting while I'm walking around it. As long as I look good, I think I'll be happy. This is my niece, Mani, also known as Cassidy. She wants to be in the video, so I kind of uh, brought her in so she can say hi. So please don't forget to like my video and subscribe. Thank you. I'm shooting a video.